Jamie Arnold. All right, let's start off here this afternoon with the very latest update just in from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Barrel, and it remains a very powerful category for hurricane with 140 mile per hour winds. When that's out over the ocean, it doesn't really matter as much. Unfortunately, though, we are seeing the core of Barrel just scraping the southern coast here of Jamaica. Kingston just had a wind gust to 81 miles per hour. 85% of Jamaica now without power and already getting near hurricane force winds up there by Montego Bay. It's going to be nasty for the next couple of hours. Then these little islands out here, those are the Cayman Islands. They're up next overnight tonight with hurricane conditions on the way. Let's show you that brand new forecast track and it doesn't really change much with some slow weakening as we head through tomorrow into Friday, then likely coming ashore just south of Cozumel and Cancun as a hurricane as we work our way into early on Friday, weakening into a tropical storm as it reemerges into the southern Gulf of Mexico, then potentially back to a category one hurricane as it finally makes landfall late Sunday near the Texas Mexico border and then works its way inland with a lot more flooding rain looking more likely there across South Texas. Thankfully, our weather features nothing tropical to worry about. Just plenty of warmth and humidity as we head through your 4th of July. There's that forecast early tomorrow morning. Temperatures low to mid 70s as we work our way into midday tomorrow. Notice we make it into the upper 80s for the beaches, low to mid 90s inland, and we'll kind of keep that heat index at least somewhat tolerable. Upper 90s to around 100. That continues as we head into the peak of the heat tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures up around 95 for the PD, 92 for a high temperature tomorrow in Conway, and then 87 to 88 across the beaches. Looking good though for tomorrow evening for those firework shows around town. We'll slowly drop those temperatures to low to mid 80s under mostly clear skies, and we'll keep that forecast rain free. But then we have to start getting ready for the big changes with the big heat and especially the big humidity making a comeback by Friday into Saturday. Oppressive humidity, unfortunately, will be returning and that means the heat index will be a big issue. Let's show you that heat index for Friday and it is ugly 105 to 110 to what it's going to feel like with a couple of spots as high as 111. Saturday looking very similar 105 to close to 110 for most of us and heading into the day Sunday. We're going to keep it into the triple digits, but we'll kind of start to ease it back just a little bit as temperatures may be a degree or two cooler and we can actually even get in a pop up shower or thunderstorms. So there's your Grand Strand 7 day forecast 87 for tomorrow, highlighting Friday and Saturday for that heat index potentially near 110. Isolated shower or thunderstorm chance and then slightly better Sunday into next week and kind of continuing status quo here on your 10 day forecast. And notice inland, we're going to send those temperatures all the way to near 100 Friday into Saturday. An isolated shower or thunderstorm with some slightly better chances and temperatures steady to the 90s for next week.